What's up, Lofi and Live Fit fam? You already know who this is. This is Ted, creator of Lofi and Live. And this video demonstrates the different plank, Russian twist, and sit up variations in my free Fall into Fitness challenge. If you're watching this video and you don't have the challenge downloaded to your phone or computer with all the sets, reps, and timed workouts available to you, shoot me an email at lofianlift at gmail.com and we'll get you taken care of. While you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to get more free workout programs, nutrition tips, and motivation to stay on your toes. Most importantly, share to your friends and family so they can join as well. Let go. First up, we have the plank, which targets your core. As you can see here, I'm doing these planks on my elbows. However, they can be done on your hands as well. And you can also modify it to where your knees are touching the ground. You want to make sure you squeeze your glutes and your abs and this is going to help you keep your body parallel to the ground and you want your hips and your low back to be straight and neutral it's probably one of my favorite exercises for stabilizing the pelvis and surprisingly enough getting rid of my low back pain next we have the plank knee to elbow this is going to target your core but it's going to incorporate some more obliques and stabilizers the object of this exercise is to bring your knee to your elbow Notice the knee isn't traveling under the abs, but around to the elbow. So pay attention to that there. And here it is from another angle so that you can kind of see that my knee is coming around the abs and not under the abs. And here we have the Putin twist. I'm, uh, I mean the Russian twist. Some of y'all will get that later. But anyways, this targets the core and the obliques. You want to make sure you rotate your entire core to touch the ground not just reach your arms to the ground keep your feet off the ground and if that's too difficult then go ahead and rest your heels on the ground so that way you can keep your balance and still complete the movement but these are really good for bringing that fire to your core apply those same previous principles to the russian twist stacking as well it's essentially the same movement you've just added a different aspect to it generally I want people to work up using the stacks that they have in the gym you know the plastic stacks but they didn't have any in my gym so I went ahead and just used the 10 pound plate but once the plastic stacks become easy to you go ahead and challenge yourself and use those five pound or those 10 pound plates that way you can make it a little more difficult same concept with the Russian twist med ball as well you want to twist the entire core until you can touch the ground with the ball. Knee to chest. You want to put your hands on the ground out next to you to kind of balance your weight. You want to bring your knees to your chest. This is going to put your abs on fire. When you extend your legs outward, make sure you don't touch the ground unless you absolutely have to. Weighted sit up. This is basically a sit up from the crunch position with a weight. As you can see here, the head and the neck does not touch the ground, leaving you in that crunch position. You want to lift the weight up and above your head, but it's good for counterbalancing that weight and keeping you balanced while still training the core. All right, it's a wrap for this video. Remember, this entire program is free. So if you don't already have it downloaded to your phone or computer, email me at lofianlift at gmail.com and I will send it to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below if this information was helpful. And I'm out. Peace.